Yeah. We're working on it. So stay All tuned right. on that. So we're getting the started. Best way. The best way to support is by subscribing. Perhaps. Please. Thank yeah. you. May helps. May helps. These setups don't pay for themselves. Yes. All right. Ta uh, blah, blah, blah. Josh then versus Tejus. Take it away, guys. Hey, UBL. How do, you feel? How do you feel about this matchup? This is the first time I'm seeing it. Right. Oh, man. It's like... So, having enough experience with Pyra and Mithra makes you really realize that Mithra should almost never lose neutral. Like, she just has the raw tools to beat out any character in that department. Where she struggles is damage, and even then, it's not really all that big a struggle. But it's you struggle against any character compared to Bayonetta. It's like, Bayonetta can do 80 at the drop of a hat. Hmm. So they're just gonna like move a lot. Like a lot of characters are gonna move. So it'll really depend on who gets that first hit of uh, who gets that finishing hit of which Mithras are a ton Ooh. faster, but not having a counter really hurts. And you know, that's where Bayonetta comes in. And Tejus is in no slouch of throwing out those big reads and often many of them landing. Yeah. Also where power comes in as well. I thought she was dead. <laughs> I got so scared for her life. <laughs> Pyro's so scary when she touches you. Yeah, Pyro's just gonna move around, uh, and Joshathan seems rather oh. equipped on just holding space. That's thing, like he took center and said, "What are you gonna do about it?" <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just dive right in and die. <laughs> Good stuff on on Tejus for the delay uh, get up right there. Text in, in space. Yeah, punishment. A lot of upbeats out of shield, uh, which are normally you see with Pyra because it well it kills. It is huge, but Mithra especially, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't oh. normally expect it. This is, that's a good button to do on, uh, people who don't know how to punch it off their counters, especially... Tejus is getting thrown off by it a lot, really. Ooh, nice punish there with the Photon Edge. That mid-screen punish right there, just from whiffing something low, but that's not gonna work out too. They thought they had no speed in order to punish that. That's hey, laggy moves. Minus. Which, like, good, because while Mithra's, like, normals may not do much, Photon Edge is, like, 20 unstale. It's like, <laughs> this move's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've seen that move do at least, like, 16 or 19 at its lowest. It's like, bro. 25 at its highest. That's crazy. Blazing like, Edge? You can flex those setups off this, too. So, As, like, the least killing move she has, you still don't want to get hit by anything that pirate throws up. What a trade! And you feel so comfortable just trying to like mash buttons at a disadvantage, whether it be that blazing edge, which does have a hitbox on startup, or just things like nair, down air. Ooh, the there again! Like you just feel so you feel so comfortable about it because Pyra's trading game is so good. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Oh, get shot. Body? Oh no, it doesn't I'll be there. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Like uh, a lot of the times, Joshua has been really aggressive out of shield with uh, back airs Ooh. and uh, up beast, which has fallen in prey to Witch Time a plenty amount of times. Though, with how stale Witch Time is, maybe he almost doesn't really have to worry about it, especially with the lead he's building up right now. Like it's swinging. All right, yeah, that's 84. It's Ooh. time. It's time to die. Don't make a mistake. That was a more optimal here, but these you can't make a mistake. Here. Then there comes some ground. i will kill you. Oh. Yeah, it's. Oh, look at that. Oh, great. Yeah. Really, Super, really superb solid. DI. But this disadvantage needs to be escaped from. Can I make surprised. it back somehow? He oh, went so back. low so quick, but. Oh, God, that's so scary. Stick up buttons! Oh, You're the prominence. Your big gun. Even simply being next to her, too. So scary. What a well thought out character this is. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he, was, he was playing, like, he was playing in a house of glass, and it was only a matter of time before something shattered. I was like, wow, he yeah. tried to be so safe, but not oh. safe enough. Not jump, no jumps here. <laughs> Those get caught. <laughs> Those get clipped. Your best bet's a roll. Maybe survive a side B again. God. Look at the catch in that. Right, look at this. 
just uh, that's downer, right? That's backer. That's backer. 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 Yeah. Backer I, downer. I, Start and end in the same like down air ends where back air begins. All which is of their aerials, annoying. they just have five nares. Their their back air is a nair. Their forward air is a nair. Their down airs are nair. They all spin and just control every space. And I'm just like, damn, this character has nine million nares. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they just what, nair, that's bro. What, that's <laughs> what we thinking. That's what we thinking. That's, that's what makes pirates so scary. Like you don't know what area is gonna come out and kill you because they all do. <laughs> yeah, I get so surprised when um, when pirate players were like, "Oh, I'm gonna like look for some specific like, oh, I'm gonna look for down or up smash at like mid percent." It's like, bro, it's okay. Like literally everything you do kills. Why are you trying to fish? This is a fun check. No, they're just I, playing neutral. I think uh, there was like a laggy start of the game, so they were just trying to wait. Oh it no, out. okay. Let me make Sable more sensitive. Mm. I wish it would start out. Toast on edge. Toast Big on damage. Eggs. Oh, <laughs> they mispunished the, the platform. This is your, this is your counter pick. <laughs> hey, if they get caught on one of these platforms, they could be dead. But yeah, yeah. holding center in Yoshi's is a lot easier than Battlefield because there's more center. Like the platforms are a little bit wider out, so you can you can actually play center stage pretty well. Just Try not to play on top plat, which is what Tejus really wants him to do. <laughs> so come here. <laughs> Please. Wow, so active that move. Tejus thought they can get away from it. Oh, okay, now they did. Remember, you are faster than this character. She's slow. Just make less mistakes. Quite slow and exceptionally floaty. It all depends on what you do with it, though. Oh, okay, up you get a shield. Nothing more. Don't want to go for two risky plays here. Oh, nice parry. And that shield's looking mighty low. He's going to have to start parrying things around Pyra, though, or just counter hitting a really solid uh, witch twist in order to get out of dan get out of uh, a dangerous spot. Okay, yeah, let's kill her for that. He knows. My man knows. Tejuice is aware that uh, Josh has been all he wants to do is counter hit. And Pyra's real good at that, but it's hard to hit such a mobile character, even with a scuffed combo. 52 in the blink of an eye. Yeah, as Pyra, every time I see this character, they always want to like hit a button, so I, I never project them to throw. If they, if they do start throwing, I'll be mind blown. <laughs> but yeah, the goal of Pyra is mostly just to hit a nice button. Oh, is this going to kill? No? All right. Almost did. My, uh, Mithra is slightly lighter than uh, Pyra. Nice follow up from the up smash right there. There's a little bit of damage. I saw these two characters have like similar escape from like move some no. That was a quick switch to pirate that I was thrown off by. <laughs> Why yeah, both of these characters. Much? Yeah, both of these characters have like a escape from combo side maneuver. Like we just saw, uh, Mithra just do hers right there. Are they getting the world off of it? Oh sh! No jump. Okay, okay. Still good, good, still great advantage here for Josh. And then looking to take the step from one good read. And it, all it really takes is that one hit now, which he's feeling mighty fine swinging on a swinging on Tejus' shield. Yeah, making Tejus play the game they want to play. That's a that's a big punish. Very vulnerable move right there on with. Mm, solid backer to take the stock. Let's see if Justin wants to stay. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't stay a slow character either. Yeah, and that 80, with this lead, you can really stick with Mithra for a good long while. Like you don't mm. have to try and force Pyra in on that's this safe. kill. It's all safe. <laughs> Oops, all safe. It's so well, too. <laughs> God, with the little cooldown on F Smash, uh, Joshathan has just been throwing that out like, maybe I catch you Ooh. misspacing your ABK, and maybe you don't. Yeah, hopefully, Waiting this do too much. This is a bad spot for it. That's going to take it. Nice. Joshathan moves on. Ah, that's gonna Toasty. be two o two o four Joshathan, and I, you know, there was a lot of the same stuff coming out from uh, Joshathan in um, in his set play, but I like the delay on the timing there uh, for <laughs> on the Blazing Edge. Most of the time he'd throw it when uh, Tejus was uh, A B K back to ledge. This time he did it early. Oh no, he's he's stalling. Yeah, see, he does it early. 
because he knows Tejus comes on quickly when he sees the Blazing Edge, because you can't let Trap without buttons, gets the sword back, bada bing, bada boom, it all comes <laughs> together. Yeah. A lot of times he thinks his character's not safe. And then they are. 